हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर 1.2 ऑफ मोस्ट एफिशिएंट चैनल इन द लास्ट लेक्चर 1.1 वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द थ्योरेटिकल कांसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस वी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज द फार्मूला फॉर मैनिंग्स इक्वेशन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन साइड स्लोप एंड द चैनल स्लोप व्हाट इज द कंडीशंस फॉर मोस्ट एफिशिएंट चैनल सो इफ यू हैवंट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज प्लीज गो थ्रू 1.1 ऑफ दिस मोस्ट एफिशिएंट चैनल अदरवाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल नॉट गेट so let's start so this is me abhay agrawal did my mtech in farm machine and power from iit kharagpur so let's directly start with the previous year question this is 2007 question uh, please pause the video and read the question first so here it has asked what will be the bottom width so it is asking about b and it is most efficient channel means hydrologically efficient channel they have given the side slope so you need to calculate first value of what is the general equation for most efficient channel that is d equal to 2d tan theta by 2 how you will get the value of theta they have given the side slope that is horizontal raised to vertical but tan theta is, is equal to vertical raised to horizontal so you reverse this that is 1 by 2 from here you calculate the theta that is tan inverse 1 by 2 and put that value here so you will get uh, do you know the value of d that is depth of flow yes they have given it is 1.06 and when you will solve that you will get value as 0.5 so you will say sir what is the use of drainage area and the drainage coefficient so i will say they have given deliberately the more information to confuse you so there is no need of the total area and the drainage coefficient you will say what is drainage coefficient so i am going to explain what is this drainage coefficient in next question so like this they can uh, they can trap you by giving extra information so abide by your concept and don't get trapped so let's see next question it is 2009 question or they are also saying the most efficient channel side slope they have given drainage coefficient they have given and what they are asking they are asking about the flow velocity in mm per second and depth of flow they have also given so now what is the use of the drainage coefficient so let's first discuss about drainage coefficient see this drainage coefficient simple one line equation if you want to remember this is the discharge from a particular area in a period of 24 hours even if they have not given duration then it is understood that drainage coefficient is always defined for 24 hour duration only So, if drainage coefficient is 50 mm, then it is implicit that it is 60 mm divided by 24 hours. So, from here, what you can calculate? You can calculate the drainage rate, rate of drainage in mm per second or mm per hour, and multiply. And when you will multiply this quantity with area, then you will know the entire discharge rate, and that discharge rate. you can use to calculate the flow velocity in your particular channel okay so drainage coefficient is used to calculate the how, what is the amount total quantity of water is flowing through your area per second or per hour so you please go through this slide so now let's come to the question in the question using the drainage coefficient and area we um, we came to know that this is the please uh, please see this uh, all the quantity how we have calculated drainage coefficient of 16 mm so i converted this into the meter and that 24 hour into the second so that we, and this area was 600 hectare so converted into the this is 10 to the power 4 this is 10 to the power minus 3 okay this is not 104 this is 10 to the power 4 so that converted into meter cube per second so this much quantity i need to remove from my area so now the, in question they have said that section is trapezoidal section and side slope they have given so now what i need to calculate this horizontal raised to vertical is equal to this horizontal this distance x divided by d depth of flow i know that is one so i came to know this horizontal value that is x so x is 2 so now i want to calculate this hypotenuse how i can calculate d square plus x square 
so for most efficient channel what is general equation b equal to 2d sin theta by 2 now how i can calculate this theta i have said you in the previous lecture and this lecture also that tan theta will be equal to 1 raised to 2 so theta value will be 26.56 divided by 2 because this is 2d tan theta by 2 so theta value is 26.56 so now you got the relationship between b and d okay and the value of d is 1 so directly we got the value of b now we know the value of b so we know the value of x so now i can calculate the base width i know this b base width now i can calculate the top width and i can calculate this hypotenuse so means indirectly i know all the values of area and perimeter so let's see top width we can calculate like this and area we can calculate like this now what i want i want discharge is equal to area into velocity no need to calculate perimeter because in question they have asked the value of v so discharge i know from drainage coefficient area i have calculated using most efficient condition so now what will be the my velocity 0.449 is this there in question answer it is not there why because i have calculated in meter per second what they are asking in mm per second so multiply it with 1000 so i will get 450 so answer b is the correct answer i hope now you can calculate this uh, discharge area perimeter this calculation so let's see one more question see what this is pause the video and see this question what it is saying a prefabricated channel they have done whether they are asking about the most efficient section no when if you are not getting any words related to most efficient channel then don't apply that general equation that is b equal to 2d tan theta by 2 here they have given base width top width height manning roughness coefficient and what is this this is the channel slope which is the value of s how you will put you will directly put this no you will put 0 0.025 divided by 100 to the power 1 by 2 okay so if you want to calculate the area then directly base width plus top width divided by 2 into height if you want to calculate r then you made one section and take value of a by p how you will calculate the value of uh, p that perimeter formula i have given in the previous slide you use that formula and value of n directly you know the value of n okay so i hope this question is clear if any doubt is there you can ask in the comment section okay so here this is trapezoidal section how you came to know that this is trapezoidal because your bottom width is less and top width is more so when you will draw this bottom width top width and then you will join these two lines so that will take a trapezoidal shape in this this was the theoretical question so if you want to uh, if any value is not given then you can assume that value it was not that objective type of question okay so here this trapezoidal section i have given this b you know this c you know and this you have to calculate from there you can calculate the parameter i think in this question side slope is not given so this value you cannot calculate uh, okay this value how you can calculate this total width is given top width so you deduct the value of b from that width so you will get this portion plus this portion so divided by 2 so then you will get only this portion so now you know this value and depth value so hypotenuse you can calculate i hope from that much explanation this question is clear so let's see one or two more questions see here in this question what they have given pause the video read the question calculate the velocity of flow how we can calculate again same thing side slope is 1 raised to 1 are they talking about the most efficient section they are not talking so don't use the general equation used for most efficient channel okay simply you solve so you don't need 
the directly depth of flow has they, they have given top it uh, bottom it they have given so you don't need actually to use that general equation and also if most efficient channel condition is there then only you will so all the relevant information you know calculate the velocity of flow and carrying capacity It means they are asking about both velocity and discharge so 1 by n r to the power 2 by 3 into s to the power 1 by 2 that will become your velocity and when you will multiply that by area you will get discharge what is the value of s s is 0.15 divided by 100 using this 1 raised to 1 you calculate the value of this x using the depth so once you know this then you will know this then top width is there bottom width is there depth is there using that calculate area this hypotenuse is there using that calculate perimeter then a by p is equal to r so all the quantities are known please calculate this and comment in the comment box so that uh, your other students can check that and simultaneously you can learn so let's see one more question in the video 1.1 i explained you what is conveyance of channel so here also you don't need to do anything all the informations are given just you need to calculate the conveyance of the channel okay so conveyance of the channel also has the unit of meter cube per second as this as the same unit of discharge why because this much quantity is conveyance of channel and when you will multiply s to the power 1 by 2 that will become discharge so this is dimensionless quantity so conveyance and discharge have same value so this can also be denoted by like this okay all values are given you just put those value let's see one more question of gate 2016 here the discharge is given and they are asking about drain size here the channel is not rectangular and trapezoidal it is drain means the channel cross section is circular so what will be the value of r r is a by p where a is cross section area and cross sectional area for drain will be pi by 4 d square and perimeter will be 2 pi r or pi d so when you will divide those two quantity you will get d by 4 so from there you can calculate the drain size you equate this discharge value equal to whatever formula i have showed you and value of a and p you use in term of drain in term of diameter so you will directly get only one quantity will remain this s to the power 1 by 2 will cancel out from two sides this 1 by n will cancel out from two sides so only this quantity equal to d to the power 4 to whole to the power 2 by 3 so from there you can calculate the drain size i hope this is clear let's see some more question here also they are talking about most efficient channel and side slope is given so calculate the value of theta calculate the value of theta and put into the that general equation here they are asking about the cross section means they are asking about the b and d value so this is theoretical concept once you will solve this question then any type of question you will be able to solve in the examination all the things i have discussed but here see in this question what are they saying about the most efficient channel section no they are not saying so you don't need to use the general equation which is used for most efficient channel even though by now you have understood that that more general equation is is used to establish relationship between the base width and depth of flow but see in this question directly they have given the base width and the depth of flow so no need to use this equation at all this longitudinal slope is nothing but your value of cap s which is s to the power 1 by 2 means 1 by 1000 to the power 1 by 2 and many roughness coefficient in given is given so you directly need to calculate the discharge first calculate velocity which is 1 by n r to the power 2 by 3 or s to the power 1 by 2 and multiply it by with that area area value is given or not So area you can assume they have not given the value of area. So I hope this much with this much detail you will be able to solve any question related with this. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe.